Okay, uh, filming again. Um, wasn't necessarily planning on uh, filming again for the next few days or so, but um, something interesting happened to me while I was at work today. You notice my hair is a bit more natural going on. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be a uh, pretty good timing to film. I don't know. And the story is a little too um, bizarre to ignore <laughs> what was going on. Um, I work at a newspaper and we get a lot of uh, strange calls um, and this guy called earlier today and he and, and I'm not really good at voices so this will be him and this will be me <laughs> or actually just this will be him and I'll just be me um, and I do my normal spiel of you know this is the newsroom how can I help you and he's like, yes, this is so and so, and I don't really remember the guy's name, but like, it was real weird. He gave me his full name, his friend's full name, and the address, which I didn't recognize, so it's obviously not in the city proper. Um, and then proceeded to tell me that he and his friend uh, captured a, what they thought was a cottonmouth snake in their, his friend's yard. Now, these are old guys. Um, you could tell because the way their voice sounded or whatever. Um, and he insisted on having someone come out and uh, identify the snake to take care of it. And I was thinking that he called the, and I was just assuming that he called the wrong number. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, this is the newspaper. Um, you might want to call animal services about that. And he's like, no, 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 I, I want to call the newspaper. I, I meant to call the newspaper. Oops. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, really? Um, okay, why? And he, like, insisted, uh, I want a reporter to come out and uh, <laughs> identify the snake for me, and I want it to be in the paper tomorrow about how so-and-so and so-and-so, we found a snake in his yard, and this is the picture of it, and we don't really do that. So I politely explained that we do not um, we report the news. Uh, we do have an outdoor section. Um, you know, and there's like, it's kind of gross, there's pictures of people um, that have killed like turkeys and deer and whatever, um, and people get a kick out of that. Uh, so I told them that, you know, if you wanted to, you could take a picture of the snake and send it in and it'd be in our, um, so he would be in the newspaper. It just wouldn't be, you know, like the centerpiece of, you know, pa front page of the next edition of the paper. Uh, he was not pleased with that. He wanted a reporter to come out right now, and I said, well, I fibbed a little, just a little, and said that all our reporters are in the field right now, and their assignment's keeping them out there for a while, so I can't actually send anyone out to you. And um, he was really pissed off about that. He was like, so what can I do? And I was like, well, you can take the picture of it, and you can put it, you know, and we'll put it in our outdoor sections. I'm not getting next to that snake. And I was like, but you want one of our reporters. I didn't say this, but I'm thinking you want one of our reporters too, because you're not going to get next to the snake. And he's like, well, I have it in the bag right now, and, and I'm not going anywhere near it. And I'm like, okay. okay. Um, well, there's nothing really we can do about that other than the photograph thing. Then um, he wanted me to dispatch him to the police station, which I don't do that. I can't dispatch him to the police station. I you know, told him I can give him the number. And he was like, so you can't help me out, you can't get, me, get it in the paper. And I was like, no, um, you know, if you want to take a photograph, I can do that for you, but that's about it. And he was like, well, oh, okay, well, you know, if you find the snake on, uh, I'm just going to leave the snake on your doorstep. And I was like, please don't do that. We, we wouldn't really appreciate that. And I might have to call the police on her uh, harassment. And he was like, well, okay, I'll just... <laughs> Okay, I'll just, you know, talk to the police then, give me the number. And then so I gave him the number and was just like, I hung up and I was like, what the hell is wrong with people? So, um, today was an interesting day. Um, yeah, I also um, might have, oh, also, um, um, just using a webcam that's on my, on my uh, laptop with the little mics there. So if I'm quiet, that's why, and um, I 
increase the volume much higher. I think I was recording at 60% last time. Um, it's at 100 now. Uh, it's so quiet, I probably will go out and get a microphone or look around to see what are good microphones. Also, I'm, as you can tell by the echo, I'm recording in my bathroom <laughs> because it's, it's like, what time is it? It's like a quarter to 11 at night, so yeah, so this is my, my shower curtain. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, interesting day. Thought I would record it. Also, kind of hints to my boss is that I might apparently have some sort of anxiety, social anxiety disorder. I real, I, I don't. I don't think I do. Anyways, and uh, that's great. One well, of my bosses thinks there's something terribly wrong with me. Awesome. All in all, a good day. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. See ya.